वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ओवर डेम्ड सिस्टम सिंस वी डिराइव द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ सी ऑफ एस एज सी ऑफ एस इक्वल्स टू ओमेगा एन ओवर एस एस स्क्वायर प्लस टू डेल ओमेगा एन एस प्लस ओमेगा एन स्क्वायर एंड वी ऑल्सो नो डेट वेन The value of del is less than one. Sorry, is greater than one. Then the system is called over damped system. so if the value of del is greater than 1 then the system will behave like over damped system let's do the partial fraction of this expression so omega n whole divided by s s square plus 2 del omega n s plus omega n square is equals to a over s Plus B S plus C S square plus two del omega n S plus omega n square. On taking the LCM, we get omega n equals to A multiplied with this whole denominator, that is S square plus. 2 del omega n s plus omega n square plus b s plus c multiplied with s. So on solving this expression, we get the value of a, b, and c. Likewise, a equals to one, b equals to minus one, and c. Equals to minus two del omega n. These are the value of a, b, c that we get after comparing and evaluating the above expression. This <coughs> by putting the value of a, b, and c in this equation number one. we get c of s equals to since omega n over s s square plus 2 del omega n s plus omega n square is nothing but c of s that's why we write c of s here equals to a value is 1 so 1 over s plus b value is minus 1 so minus s C value is minus two del omega n whole divided by s square plus two del omega n s plus omega n square. So this is the expression, and by taking the minus sign as a common, we get. C of s equals to one over s minus s plus two del omega n divided by s square plus two del omega n s plus omega n square. Then we have to set up. a uh, whole square in the denominator so making whole square in denominator
we get c of s equals to 1 over s minus s plus 2 del omega n over we will make the whole square by these two terms so the whole square will be s plus del omega n to the whole square minus del square omega n square and this term will be written as it is that is plus omega n square After making the whole square in the denominator, we take omega n square as a common term. So it will be like c of s equals to 1 over s minus s plus 2 del omega n over s plus del omega n whole square and we take omega n square as a common term so minus omega n square and minus sign is taken as a common that's why del square minus 1 after this we will make we will write this term that is omega n square into del square minus 1 as a whole square in bracket that's why c of s will be equal to 1 over s minus s plus 2 del omega n divided by s plus del omega n square minus omega n under the root del square minus 1 to the whole square now after this we will separate the terms that is s plus del omega n this 2 del omega n can be written as del omega n plus del omega n that's why on separating the terms we get c of s equals to 1 over s minus s plus del omega n over s plus del omega n whole square minus omega n under the root del square minus 1 whole square so why we do it because we have to set up this term and the numerator term as the same and the remaining del omega n term as del omega n over s plus del omega n whole square minus omega n under the root del square minus 1 whole square since 2 del omega n is written as del omega n plus del omega n. Moving on to the next step, we have to cross multiply under the root del square minus 1 with this term. So, c of s equals to 1 over s minus s plus del omega n over s plus del omega n square minus omega n under the root del square minus 1 whole square plus since we are multiplying under the root del square minus 1 both with the numerator and both with denominator also that's why I write it as and the whole term will be copied here 
डेल ओमेगा एन ओवर एस प्लस डेल ओमेगा एन होल स्क्वायर माइनस ओमेगा एन अंडर द रूट डेल स्क्वायर माइनस वन होल स्क्वायर आफ्टर दिस वी विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस डेल स्क्वायर माइनस वन विद दिस टर्म एंड टेकिंग द डिनोमिनेटर पार्ट एज अ सेपरेट टर्म सो सी ऑफ एस इक्वल्स टू वन ओवर एस माइनस एस प्लस डेल ओमेगा एन ओवर एस प्लस डेल ओमेगा एन होल स्क्वायर माइनस ओमेगा एन अंडर द रूट डेल स्क्वायर माइनस वन होल स्क्वायर प्लस दिस डेल विल बी मूविंग फॉरवर्ड सो डेल एंड दिस डिनोमिनेटर विल बी रिटर्न एज अंडर द रूट डेल स्क्वायर माइनस वन एंड दिस डेल स्क्वायर माइनस वन विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड विद दिस टर्म सो ओमेगा एन अंडर द रूट डेल स्क्वायर माइनस वन होल डिवाइडेड बाय एस प्लस डेल ओमेगा एन होल स्क्वायर माइनस ओमेगा एन अंडर द रूट डेल स्क्वायर माइनस वन होल स्क्वायर वी हैव डन ऑल दिस मल्टीप्लीकेशन टू मेक दिस न्यूमरेटर टर्म एंड दिस डिनोमिनेटर टर्म एज ए सेम टर्म्स एंड सिंस वी हैव स्टडीड द लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड वी नो डेट लापलास इनवर्स लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ वन ओवर एस इज इक्वल्स टू वन एंड इनवर्स लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एस ओवर एस स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल्स टू कॉस ऑफ हाइपरबॉलिक ए टी एंड इनवर्स लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ ए ओवर एस स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल्स टू साइन हाइपरबॉलिक ए टी डेट्स वाई बाय हेल्प ऑफ दीज थ्री फॉर्मूलाज वी टेक द इनवर्स लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म taking inverse laplace transform we get c of s will be converted into c of t equals to since laplace inverse of 1 over s is equals to 1 only so 1 minus this is this whole term can be considered as s so s over s square minus this whole term will be considered as a so s over s square minus a square that is this formula so directly we can write cos hyperbolic at and here s is combined with del omega n that's why we should write e to the power minus del omega n and after after this we write cos hyperbolic here a value is omega and under the root del square minus 1 that's why omega n under the root del square minus 1 t plus this term will be written as it is del over under the root del square minus 1 and since we know that laplace inverse of a over s square minus a square is nothing but sin of hyperbolic at and here a value is this and since s is combined with del omega n that's why we have to first write e to the power minus del omega n t after that we write sin of hyperbolic a value is 
omega n under the root del square minus 1 into t. So this is all about the Laplace inverse and we got the value of c of t. Since we calculated the value of c of t and we got this expression so now we will put the value of t equals to 0 1 first and t equals to infinite second so at t equals to 0 this c of t becomes c of 0 and we get 0 only after evaluation at t equals to 0 and secondly we put t equals to infinite so at t equals to infinite this whole expression will give c of infinite equals to 1 so this is our result that we got by putting t equals to 0 ones and t equals to infinite ones after this we will plot the time response graph the time response <coughs> for over damped system that is dial is greater than 1 subjected to unit step input is given as this is our c of t this is our t and this is 0 this is 1 it is the boundary line of 1 and the time response will be plotted like this it will touch the boundary of 1 so this is all about the time response of overdamped system thank you if you like my youtube video then please hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel